a few more experiments to see what's going on with the cells. And what you're looking at here is two, cell, two stainless steel plates that are less than an eighth of an inch together. What I'm trying to do is try to find out how close you can put these plates and what happens the closer you put them. And what I've done, there's a good view, I think. What I've done is also anchor one of the plates on the bottom and one of the plates on the top. The question, there's still a lot of questions as to what's going on, at least to me. Everyone else seems to have the answers. Every test, every experiment that I do, we get closer and closer and closer to the truth. And also makes it easier to refine the technique to get to where we want to go, or at least to where I want to go. I've gotten a number of questions, a lot of email all of a sudden saying, you're crazy, so to speak that it takes too much gas to make a hydrogen on demand for a car. It seems to be the latest trends towards me anyway. And my answer is always the same. My answer is always, we'll see. And their answer or their re return mail is always, well, here it is, black and white. You can't do it. And my answer is usually, there were two men who owned a bicycle shop who couldn't do it either. And to some of you that sounds stupid, and to those people I say, I don't care. And to the ones who don't think it's stupid, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to make a car run on hydrogen on demand, or at least, to say the very least, I'm trying to get it so we get maybe 50, 60, 70 miles to the gallon, maybe more. Mixing it with the gasoline. We'll see. In that, we'll see, and it's my time, not theirs. What we're doing here, as you can see the plates, and... Oh, they are really close together. How close? It's about in well, let's just say it's less than an eighth. Sorry, it's less than an eighth. And I'm setting it up now. Turned it on. And the interesting part about this whole thing, you know, let's, if you look at it really close, is the bubbles. That's what I'm really interested in. Let me take a look at this. These are real big bubbles that are coming out here, not the small bubbles that we saw on the Widowmaker or even on my Aaron cells. It's a different kind of bubble. I don't know, maybe it's just the way I'm looking at things, but there, there we go. We're running at uh, 1.98 amp, amps, now we're at 2 amps. Remember, this is just two plates.
I'm really interested in the bubbles here. You notice they don't cascade back down again. They immediately disappear. Not like the bubbles that the Widowmaker makes. And yet we know that hydrogen bubbles are coming up there. It might very well be there's not enough, but I don't think that's it at all. I think we're looking at difference. I think we're looking at a difference. So I'm going to stop this for a moment. Okay, we're back again now. I'm going to put the battery, same battery. And we're going to watch what happens here. We're at 3 amps. This is the Widowmaker. Gosh, I wish I had never thought of that word. And look what we've got coming out of here. It's different. It's not only that it's different. You can see them cascading down. But look at them close. Or I'm looking at it, and it's just totally a different type of bubble. We should still be getting hydrogen and oxygen. But it's different. This is 2.89 amps now. You can even see it. I mean, you can see the difference. Two point eight nine amps. I disconnected too much hydrogen out of here. Stops pretty quick. Turn the fan on. <coughs> the difference is uh, amazing. Take look at the plates here that I had in there. You can see. A long time ago, I would have bet you anything that the larger plate would have done much more than those smaller plates. Okay, let's step away for a minute. Okay, we're back again. This time I've got the air and cell in the same tube same amount of electrolyte. Okay, we're back. <coughs> we're back again. And what I, this again is the Aaron cell, same solution, and we'll start it up. Don't have much time left, but You can see what's going on here. Even though the bubbles are smaller, they're not the same bubbles. It's just not the same. And at this point in time, 